In this video, we're going to take a look at identifying and factoring a difference of squares. A difference of squares is a special situation that we get sometimes where we have something squared, so maybe a squared minus b squared, and if we're going to factor that, that will always factor out into two things, the signs which are going to be plus and minus, and the first term will be what squared gets us that a squared, and the second term will be what squared gets us the b squared part. So in this case it's a and b, so a plus b times a minus b. To identify a difference of squares, we want to first of all look and see that there's a difference of our two terms within our uh, binomial. Then we look for the first term being a perfect square and the second term being a perfect square if that's the case then we have a difference of squares and we know what's gonna factor and look just like this so let's see here let's take a look at this first one Fifth, uh, excuse me 25 x squared minus 81 well is it a difference yes so we're good there then <clears throat> we have to know if this is a perfect square well what multiplied by itself would get us 25 x squared as we look at this we can look at the numerical part first and see if that's a perfect square and then variables for those to be perfect squares they just have to be even powers so in this case we have that squared which is even so that's definitely a perfect square 5 times 5 gets us 25 so that's a perfect square so we know that this part is 5x squared gets us that okay so we're good there then here 81 is 81 a perfect square yep 9 times 9 gets us 81 so that means this is a difference of squares so it's gonna factor into this so 5x plus 9 times 5x whoops, minus 9 like so then sometimes people get a little leery here and they say well wait a minute when we have something like this and we foil it out don't we usually get a trinomial well usually but difference of squares are a special situation and we'll take a look at what happens a little bit later we'll foil one of those out let's continue here with this one first of all first term is it a perfect square yes that would be 3x squared would squared would get us that so 3x squared the second term is that a perfect square yep 8 times 8 so that is gonna factor into 3x squared plus 8 and then 3x squared minus 8 okay then let's take a look at this next one here in this case we have 49 first well first of all don't forget is it a difference yes it is a difference so we're good there then 49 is that a perfect square 7 times 7 so our first piece will be 7 here then t to the sixth it's an even power so that would be t to the third times t to the third remember when we're multiplying variables to powers like that we add those exponents so t to the third so that means since they're both both perfect squares it's going to be seven plus t to the third times seven minus t to the third like so then let's take a look at this one right here well it is a difference then we look at the variable part. Is that a perfect square? Ooh, 9. That's odd. So that is not a perfect square. So we cannot factor this as a difference of squares because of that 9 right there. We aren't able to factor that. How about this one? First term, we've got 9b to the fourth. What squared would get us that? Well, that would be 3b squared. So we're good there then 200 is that a perfect square huh, is there something multiplied by itself that will get us 200 hmm no there's not so we can't factor that one as a difference of squares because of that 200 200 is not a perfect square alright finally this one right here first of all is it a difference yes then first term 36 perfect square yep 6 times 6 s squared we know that's a perfect square that's just s times s then the second term here 4 that's a perfect square 2 times 2 t squared well that would be t so it's gonna factor into 6s 
plus 2t times, I'm going to go this direction here, 6s minus 2t. And remember, those can be flipped around. So we could have this term first or that term first. Makes no difference as we set those up. They, they mean the same thing. So identifying and factoring a difference of squares. First, we look that it's a difference. Then we look to see that each term is a perfect square. And then it's going to break up into two things, two binomials, signs, plus and minus, and um, the terms being the square root, essentially, of the first one and the second term. Now, remember, when we factor stuff, we should always be able to foil it back out and get what we started with. So let's take a look at back at this first one here. I'm going to switch colors just to show that it does indeed foil back to what we started with. So for this one, to foil this back, we'd have 5x times 5x to be 25x squared. Then we have 5x times minus 9 would be negative 45x. And then we have 9 times 5x. Well, that would be plus 45x. Then we have 9 times negative 9, which would be negative 81. Now notice what happens right here in the middle. These two terms are opposites, so they're going to cancel out. Then we're left with just this minus that, which is indeed what we started with. So when we have a difference of squares, what's going to happen is the middle two terms, when we FOIL, are going to cancel out. And that's why we get back to what we started with there. All right. Hopefully this is helpful in uh, identifying and factoring a difference of squares. Keep working hard on your math, and I know you'll do great.